gave me 110 minutes of scoreless soccer tonight. Uh, this was an exciting one from a goalkeeper's point of view, wasn't it? Yes, it was very um, exciting. I think I give big props to the Wake Forest goalkeeper. Um, she had a lights out game, and obviously our back four um, and our whole team, for that matter, played played an amazing game. So you were probably at the furthest way to the point to see with those three shots and little head on goal. There were about three minutes left in the second overtime. Yep. What were you thinking when those were going on? Um, honestly, I was waiting for the AR to say that it hit behind the line for Mina's first shot. Um, I just think that shows our grittiness um, around the goal mouth. We we wanted a goal. We, we did not come to tie. Um, we came to win. So that was obviously, you know, heart wrenching to see nothing come out of it. But again, like our, our team is hungry around the goal mouth. So I expect nothing less. Offside seemed to be the soup of the day today. I think a total of 12 of those. You ever see that many in the game? I mean, yeah, of course. When you're when you're playing at this level, back lines pay, play very high, and um, you know one of the hardest things for an outside forward to do is is pull away, watch for the ball, and stay on side. So um, again, props to Wake Forest back line for staying high, and I think that's just one detail that we can we can definitely sharpen up. How much confidence does this result give you going into the next week in North Carolina? Oh, we have we have a ton of confidence. We are playing our best soccer right now. Um, we, I mean, obviously we're pretty, we're pretty mad with the result. Um, a point in the conference is, is unbelievable, so um, that definitely gives us a lot of confidence. But um, we're definitely hungry. Uh, we're playing our best soccer right now, so uh, we have nothing but belief and confidence in ourselves right now. Going into North Carolina, how are you preparing for the um, Tar Heels? Um, you know, we have a big thing. Like we, we do focus on North Carolina, but we focus more on Louisville women's soccer and. No one plays Louisville women's soccer better than us, so uh, you know. Obviously, yes, we'll scout them, but at the end of the day, we're focused on our performance. Again, like I said, we're playing our best soccer right now, so just being able to replicate that, fine-tune some details, and we're 100% focused on us. Though. All right, Gabby, y'all gone into overtime a few times this season uh, with the being Golden Goal. Usually, what's yours and the team's thoughts when you go into the Golden Goal situations? Um. We, I mean, obviously, we want to be hungry on both ends. So, you know, I tell my team, I, I don't guarantee a hold on everything. So let's make sure we're following everything up on our end, defensively, and then offensively. Obviously, we want to we want to go for a goal. So we don't force anything, but um, we definitely, I mean, you saw we we go at the goalkeeper, we go at him, and again, props to the weight goalkeeper. But um, when we go into golden goal, we're just we're prepared to win and. We'll do everything we can um, to make that the best chance for us. Did you feel weight kind of were we kind of fell back a little bit? We're happy to have a point. Once you got an or just feel like your team was just was just more aggressive to, to, um, to get that. Better? I mean, I think uh, we were going at them. So uh, at, at the end of the day, when you're going at a team, it's going to be natural for them to drop off a little bit. So again, I give props to our team. We played we played a phenomenal game. And there you have it from Gabby the goalie, 110 minutes to 0-0 tie.